Today on Hopped Up Beer Review, we're going to be reviewing Live from Chicago by Hot Butcher for the World of Chicago, Illinois. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where these three yahoos give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. We're back to do that again. I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay, Yahoo number one, Yahoo number two. I'm Yahoo number three, Ben. What are we drinking today? Mm, We're going to have live from Chicago from Hot Butcher for the World from Chicago, Illinois. It is right. a nice IPA with several different uh, hops that I'm sure Andy's going to tell us all about, but I'm thirsty. Yeah. Well, the hops, Simcoe, Citra, Galaxy, and Talus. So it's hopped up. Carbonated. Mm-hmm. Just a wee bit. <laughs> Just a wee bit. Wow, that smells nice. Rather aromatic. Mm-hmm. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. I mean, it's good clarity on it, too. So, 6.75%. ABV. It is. I mentioned the um, the hops, and they say the tasting notes on the can: fruit cocktail, pleasant pine, sweet grapefruit. You I can, can get that. a little of the grapefruit and pine. <laughs> yeah, a couple of them are more overpowering. Yeah, I'm not pulling out the fruit cocktail so far. No, that uh, grapefruit hits you in the mouth, though. Yeah, the pine and the grapefruit. Oh, that was pleasant. Yeah, um, it was very nice. So this beer is actually in a collaboration beer with Crushed by Giants Brewing Company, another Chicago brewery. It's a it's a craft brewery and restaurant. Um, they're very low key they only their beers are only available at the brewery whereas this live from chicago uh the collaboration beer is brewed by hot butcher for the world a microbrewery and they distribute to 18 states outside of illinois so uh about uh, this is an american ipa for those um curious as to the what type of ipa now any idea why the name of the brewery is hop butcher for the world any literary folks on here no okay <laughs> it's, your your audience is limited from the <laughs> look at these guys yeah, recording. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not you i mean guys. ben ben's an it guy and i'm an engineer by trade so. yeah we don't even know how to read so, <laughs> well, it's um, based on the poem Chicago by Carl Sandburg. And it, um, the name of the brewery comes from actually the first line in the first stanza of this poem. It's a long poem, but I'm going to read the, poem, the first stanza for you. Take some sips. <clears throat> it's not that long, really. Hog butcher for the world, tool maker stacker of wheat, player with railroads, and the nation's freight handler. Stormy, husky, brawling, city of the big shoulders. So, in his poem, the first line says hog butcher for the world instead of hot butcher. So, he's referring to the many, you know, characteristics of um, Chicago at the time. They were called the hog butcher. Huh? slaughterhouses yeah because yep. they were had a huge meat processing industry um in the union stockyards and um so on the labels 
go ahead, not, not that on some of their other labels, uh, they have artwork about it, but it was considered one of the world's suppliers of uh, meat from all the butchering pigs. So that, that was pretty cool. Uh, read through it's that. Pretty, I appreciate that. What about the yeah. logo on the can here? It's pretty unique. It was created, the artwork is by Dan Grzecka, or Grzecka, excuse me. Um, just, I guess, play on uh, a band, you know? Rock and roll. That's why I'm. I decided to wear my rock out. So. Gotcha. Did Did you have a date on the poem by chance? I did not. Eighteen hundreds. Eighteen hundreds. No, don't quote me on that. I don't think it was eighteen hundreds. Curious. I can't remember. Sorry. Like you know, just curious when the time frame was that that was you know considered to be yeah. you know that industry there cool cool what else you got nothing i'm i'm drinking that's it <laughs> i'm done that's it yeah. well you wanted me to include more stanzas of the poem i mean you know we've got some time to fill here i mean we are contracted to do so long on these episodes uh, the people really don't want to us to drag on they want right. us to get to it they want to see what this is like people i should say the person excuse me yes person we'll, we'll move on all right um <laughs> first appeared in poetry in march of 1914 1914 there nice. you go. thank you thank, thank you fact checker yes, thank you. okay appreciate yeah. that republished uh, in 1916 just a short two years. That's interesting. Uh, Jay, what, what do you think about live from, from Chicago? You know, I, I really like it. it um, when I had that first sip, uh, like I said, that sweet grapefruit kind of hits you in the mouth. The more I drink it, you kind of get more of that, uh, I guess, what they call the pleasant pine. I still don't have the fruit cocktail. Uh, I'm not quite sure where they're pulling that from. Um but but it's very pleasant to me. Uh, I don't think it's completely crushable, but uh, it's it's definitely lighter at six and a half. Um, I, I think I'm going to go as high as an eight and a half on this. Okay, Andy, what you think? It's good. It's easy to drink, and I would definitely go back for more. Yeah, it's not too much grapefruit it's not too much pine it tastes like uh true american ipa almost you know it seems kind of down the middle because i guess some of that grapefruit makes it feel a little juice to it um so it's not a complete west coast and you know and it's got that lighter color some of those although you can't tell in mine um uh yeah ben you know where you get some other like west coast a little darker um, but it, it seems like a good Midwestern, you know, middle of the U.S. IPA, got a little juicy pine. I'm, I'm giving it an 8.0. It's really good. Okay. So I'll say, you know, this is the first beer that I've had from Hot Butcher for the World. I don't know if you guys have had any of their others. Um, but, uh, you know, this actually came, you know, from the suburbs of Chicago. Uh, so some of my family was in the area and, 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 uh, went to a, a store and, and did a little FaceTime and said, you know, Hey, what do you want? And, you know, so I, I picked out a few things for us, but, um, you picked an IPA. I did, you know, granted I did this over FaceTime. So I, it was, I know. you know, I, you can be only so selective when, uh, family members who are not into craft beer, are trying to buy beer for you, right? Uh, so that being said, I really like this one uh, as an IPA. I think it is really good. Uh, yeah, I'm with you, Jay. I don't get the fruit cocktail, but the pine and the grapefruit are the two main flavors here, and they blend really well. Uh, you know, the grapefruit provides a little bit of bitter, but, you know, not overbearing. Uh, and the pine is not, you know, 
to Andy's point, it's not West Coast Pine. So uh, I think they blend really well together and they did it really nicely in this beer. And uh, I'm going to give it an eight as well. I think it's I think it's really good. I would definitely drink another one of these uh, if I had it. So I think it's a good one. Good. Thank you for sharing it, Ben. Of course. Who else am I going to share beer with that, <laughs> you know, gets picked up? So. That will be an 8.2 for the live from Chicago for Hot for the Butcher. Butcher for the world. Hot Butcher, Hot butcher for the world. For <laughs> I butchered that, didn't I? Uh, so, uh, yeah, definitely a good IPA uh, to check out. I mean, if, you know, I'm giving it an 8 and you don't like IPAs that much, then it's definitely one if you happen to see, you should definitely grab uh, these other two guys give it a great score too. So I think it, I think it ticks all the boxes there. Um, so definitely grab it. If you see it, uh, if you've made it this far, be sure to like subscribe and cheers that notification bell. We would definitely appreciate that. Check out our social medias down below in the description. Uh, we've got some merch now, like uh J shirt there. If you want to check that out, link is down below in the description as well. Uh, we got some other things there too. Uh, and also come to hand discord we'd love to see you there uh, it's our hopped up beer review discord server you can chat with the three of us and the others who have joined us for andy in the attic and jay i am ben thanks for joining us cheers mates cheers, cheers mates, cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.